No, we missed it. Colonel, the target's on this side, sir. Now I can see it now. It's over there in the woods, on the other side of the river. Are you sure, sir? Yep. The water is milky from the waste that are emptying into the river. I'm afraid we fell for decoy, Jim. Pilot's approved. Give me a damage report. Left waste to pilot. We took a bad hit at center waste, sir. We're losing fuel badly, sir. Drop out of formation. Pilot to radio. Code a message to Archbury G2. Tell them target 385 is a decoy. To bomb the camouflaged area 2,500 yards northeast of the present aiming point. Pilot to radio. Do you read me? Over. Pilot to radio. Do you read me? Over. Left way, sir. The radio man is dead and the radio's been destroyed. Jim, we've had him. Get out. Get out. Pilot to crew. Abandoned ship. Bail out. Get out. Starring Chris Robinson with guest stars Robert Walker, Claudine Langer. Tonight's episode Underground. American officer? Right. Colonel Joseph A. Gallagher, serial number 01167087. As you know, you have landed in Switzerland. We are Swiss Border Patrol. It is my duty to take you in custody. Colonel, please. <laughs> Switzerland is neutral, and that neutrality is vital to all belligerents, either side. Now, I'm sure you understand, Colonel. You're out of the war. Captain, what's next? Mr. Sechrist? The officer and turnee will be billeted as befits his rank. Let me ask you something. How can I get vital information out of here? No military information will be transmitted by or to him during the period of hostilities. All right, then how do I get back to England? Most important, there will be no escape attempts. 
The borders are strictly patrolled by the Swiss police on this side and by the enemy on the other. You try to leave Switzerland and you'll be turned back or shot. I'll have a man drive you to your quarters. And uh, you'll need a non-military wardrobe, so I'll send you something to wear. And then let me buy you your lunch. Thanks, Captain. Some other time. The Alpenstock Restaurant on the Rue Daumier in exactly one hour. Colonel, please accept. That was my fault. That's all right. I hope you're not hurt. No, no, I'm fine. You're an American? Yes, yes. Richardson. Traveling salesman, believe it or not. Odd simplicity in a world gone mad, but I deal in ladies' fabrics, so there's always a market. Uh, waiter, please sit down, sir. Let me make amends. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, waiter, would you please get a coffee for this gentleman? I have an appointment. Forgive me for rushing this gentleman, Gallagher, but Captain Wright had to leave this fellow. Sit down, please. Our legation must remain officially ignorant of my avocation pursuits. You were told there'd be no escape attempts. If you really want to return to England, go to the Idlewise garage. Down the street, take a right at the second alley. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Good luck. Uh, again, my uh, apologies, sir. Perhaps we'll meet again. <laughs> Deserters, I guess. The Nazi secret police are always trying to smuggle them back into Germany or Austria to execute them. I thought cloak and daggers were out of style. You could be thankful they aren't. Or you'd be here for the duration. Wait a minute, Richardson. Who are you? And what are you selling? Because I don't have any money. My services are free. We don't want you to become established or conspicuous here. The longer you remain, the more difficult it makes things for us. Here. March me to the legation if you decide you don't believe in me. All right, but why me? Why are you so concerned if I get back to England? You have vital information for Bomber Command. You are the justifiably famous son of General Max Gallagher. Nazis would love to publicize that you're out of it. We'd like to see you back in it. Boy, boy, you 
wish to kill a lot of ground, don't you? Understand. This is a private enterprise. We rarely use the underground because international relationships could be thrown to very awkward disarray if we're discovered. We think you're important enough to warrant the risk. But there is one condition. I'll be on my own. Give me your oath of secrecy. Look, why don't you just let me go now? Let me try it on my own. Colonel, you saw what happened to those German boys. All a German deserter has to do is step across the border from Germany to Austria. You have a long, long way to go. You have to evade the Swiss between here and the border, and then the Nazis all across France. All right. If you're captured, you must take the full responsibility. You know, I get the feeling I'm being ordered to do this. Do I have your word? You haven't. Wait a half a minute after I've gone. Then get into the truck that passes in the street. That's all I know. The driver knows where to let you out. That's all he knows. He'll give you the password and countersign for your next contact. When I said good luck at the cafe, sir, I meant it. Thanks. meters ahead is at the house of Jean Goulet. Your password is the humidity is oppressive this season. And the countersign is it is good for grain but bad for grapes. Right. Thank you. Bonne chance. Everything? Uh -uh. Move back. Heads up. Is that man in the truck? He said, uh, the humidity is good for the grain or something like that? Is it a passport? Huh? Oh. I remember you now. In the garage. I thought you were Gestapo. Now, now I see you are American. I thought you were a German deserter. I am? I speak your language, yes. I was born in your country. We have that in common, I guess. Also, Switzerland seems to be the wrong place for both of us. So, both of us try to escape, huh? Thank you for some money, American. Maybe you will need this later. I will leave it up ahead beside the road. Good luck. Who's that man? Gestapo. 
Please let me go. I know some zipper. Take me back and shoot me. One sound out of you at this gun. I got nothing to lose. So keep quiet. Please let me go. Come on. What is this? A station on the underground? Maybe. Are you taking me with you? I am not. You are not going to kill me. You know too much. You know the password. You can identify the driver of the truck. This house. I'm going to turn you over to the underground. No, please. Your secret is safe. Who could I tell? I can only run, hide. I will disappear, I swear it. It's a choice I can't make. That man is from the Gestapo. He's after me. He's following me. They take the searchers back and shoot them. And if you give me to the French, they'll shoot me too. You may decide to redeem yourself. Surrender to him and tell him everything you know. We're staying right here. So just relax. Oh. What a world. Here I am in France, surrounded by German soldiers. The prisoner of an American. And I have more to fear from my own countrymen than from the enemy. What was that remark you made about being born in America? In Brooklyn. Just off Flatbush Avenue. When I was 12, my, my parents came back to Germany. I've hated every moment of my life since. Oh, sure. I bet you sang Yankee Doodle every night at bedtime, right? What could I do? I was a child. I had to wear an armband, yes. I did not know about resisting. In Germany, one does not resist so easily. Now you're a deserter. Isn't that worse? I could not go on with... Get out! Stay here. What's your name? Karl Weigand. Sergeant Karl Weigand. It's all right, miss. I won't hurt you. I'm looking for Jean Golay. My father is gone. I thought perhaps they brought him back. Gone? Gone where? 
The Gestapo picked him up this morning. The underground. Is it broken? No, it was for something else. He insulted an officer. Are you American? The humidity. It's oppressive this season. If that is a password, I don't know what it means. I work at the hospital. When I heard about my father, it was too late. I couldn't warn him. I saw a man outside. I think he's watching the house. Miss, can you take me to the next contact? Look, miss, I'm an American officer. There's a very vital reason why I have to get back to England. My father always said if, if they come and get me, just go, run away. They said, I'm afraid. I don't want to stay here alone. They'll come for me. I do know someone. I can't help you, but perhaps he can. Take me with you. You can trust me. All right. All right, let's see if I can. Let's see if you'll trust me. This man, he's a German. A German? Yes, he's a deserter. He may be harmless, but he knows more than he should. I want to get him to the underground. You want to take him with us? I'm afraid I have to. Gunshots make too much noise. And dead Germans, even deserters, bring reprisals. This place that you're taking me to, won't they know what to do with him? Yes, they'll know what to do with him. to uh, the specialist at Fourth General. Wait a minute. What's the matter with him? He has a broken neck. Oh. You're good. The shoes are American. English. Yeah, he took some from a British officer, I guess. He was with Rommel in Africa. With Rommel, huh? In Africa. The elite. Ah, alles in Ordnung. Dann lass sie durchfahren. Bleib on. to do. Was Papa not there? Cleosh. Can you help? Perhaps. But first, I must speak to you about your father. The Bosch have shot him. He defied them and now he's dead. I loved him too. He was good. He was a true patriot. Now, if I help you, I help him and you. For I know he told them nothing. But they wonder what you know. They will look for you. And uh, they find you. Cleos, where is his body? 
I will help if you take her with you to England. Why is it bad, Cleos? It's all over now, child. We, but go to England with this man. <laughs> no, do what I tell you. Cochon. François, take him down to the cellar. Wait a minute. I know how you feel, Cleos. But he saved our lives in the ambulance. I'll be responsible for him. He's German. He belongs with Germans. No, he's not just another German. He's trying to escape from all of that. And I don't want to see him killed. This is no concern of yours. It is now. So I'm sure I could help him if I could... No. Only you and Leon. And suppose I refuse. You cannot refuse. You tried. For that, I'm grateful. My father was a harness maker in America. He had a hard time. I think he knew it was wrong to move back. Young as I was, I knew. I just want you to believe that. Hello, Francois! Look, young man, I am trying to save your life. Now you must help me to save hers. Will you take her now and go on? All right, where do we go? And how do we make a contact without a password? I was contact men once when, before I became twisted with age and disease. Now it is Monsieur Foulard, the wine merchant. He knows her father, though he will believe her. Uh, you have a map. Uh, look at uh, the bridge. Uh, Leon, can you show him? Yes, I know the bridge. Foulard. You mean this man is yours? As long as the masquerade lasts. Any day, any minute, 
His Nazi masters may discover him, but... Will you help us? Your father, Jean Gaulet, I knew very well for years, before you were born. It was I who scarred his shoulder in a boyhood accident. My father had no scars on either shoulder. Très bien. Stay here. All right. Well, Leanne, you've passed your little test. Let's hope we pass. Aren't you going to tell him this Nazi killed Francois? No. And you'd better hope they don't find out before they pass us on. Or we all die, right here. Francois was my key. He was going to kill me. What was I to do? Die like a lamb? I defended myself. Then why did you follow us? You understand, do you not? You are my only chance. My only hope is to go to England with you. Take me with you or kill me now. Leanne, you must remember he killed a Gestapo agent, not just for himself, but for all of us. I am sorry. My mother and father died in the bombings. I understand what it is. But I do not know. We all have death on our hands. If I ever get to England, what will I do? Start your life over again. No. No, I think one does not start a life over again. One tries to pick up the bits and pieces and makes the best of it. But maybe that is enough. It is all arranged. You will go as his prisoners. That way, you will be less conspicuous. Go where, Fulard? You ask too many questions. Now go, please. Please hurry, will you? Kannst du nicht laufen, verdammt noch mal? Ihr alle, geht da rein! Woher kommt ihr denn? Verdammt, wir von Sorgen, geht rein da! Du auch! Bist doch kein alter Mann hier! Und ihr, geht rein da! Fahren Sie, Fräulein, gehen Sie rein! Du auch! Geh rein! The guard at Stalag 1612 will wear a kerchief in his color. Sign, I have a sore foot. Countersign, I had one too last week. Well, how will he know me? Carry your shoe in your left hand. Get rein, Mensch! Rein da! So, Eberhard, this I have male, this I have female. Go with the Cedric. Which uh, group was taken prisoner in Luchon? We were. The others will go with uh, this Cedric here. Chef! Put on your shoe. I have a soft foot. I don't care, do as you're told. What's the matter with you? I told you I have a sore foot. I had one too last week. Go east 500 yards from here. We'll reach the Louvre Canal. 
There's a small cement jetty with a signal house at the end of it. Wait in the signal house. Your contact will come. Last word. Do the fish bite well during wartime? Answer, only during the night. After you go, I will give the alarm and chase you in the wrong direction. Go, quickly! Stand! Just a minute. I claim that man is my prisoner. I owe him that. You owe him nothing. I owe him my life, and so does she. He saved us twice on the way here. This is my organization. And you came all the way through the whole chain of stations. This is the last stop, and he knows each and every one of them. Each trusted contact. He wants to go to England, and he's going. We can keep him in solitary confinement until the war's over. It's my responsibility. Will you help us from England? Broadcast over the shortwave back to your fatherland? Tell them they are wrong? No, I will not. I am a deserter, yes, from Nazi authority. But I am not a traitor. The difference may seem small to you, but not to me. He gives good answers. The Germans killed my father. Yes, I know, mademoiselle. Then you understand how much I hate them. But I know what this German has done. Let him come with us. All right. When the time is safe, my men will take a boat at the foot of that ladder. He will take you down the river, then into the channel. An English seaplane will take you aboard. I will never see you again. Good luck. And adieu. Right, you know. It is your duty to escape. Yes, but I think I have another duty. Listen, Leon, you stay here. If I don't get back when you get to England, ask to see Major General Britt, Bomber Command, and give him this message. Tell him to bomb 2,500 yards northeast of Target 385. Now repeat that. 
2,500 yards northeast of target 385. Right. Now stand back. Captain Karl Weigand, SS. Counter Underground Unit, code number SS4423. Help him find the Frenchman, but orders him not to harm him and not to let him know you suspect him of underground activity. Just a minute here. Look, there is my SS cachet. I must get to SS headquarters at once. Gainsey! What's all this about? I have just followed the American, Colonel Joseph Gallagher, through the entire secret route from Switzerland. He must be allowed to escape, or they will be warned and change the network. The Frenchman must be questioned and set free. But from now on, no one will get through. making a mistake, Carl. I did. I made you my responsibility. Then it was all your promise. No, it wasn't just a promise, Carl. It was more than that. It was you. I liked you. I thought there was a chance of taking you back to England with us. I did my duty, Colonel. Target, not the decoy. A girl, Leanne, she tells some pretty wild stories about how the two of you got out. Sandy, we had a little help. From the Nazi kid? No, from Leanne's friends. Oh, Carl was making sure we got through all right, but for his own reasons. He was really an SS captain, sir? He certainly was, right to the very end. You know, Sandy, Carl had a very innocent face. You have to remember, ten years ago, the whole Nazi movement had an innocent face. Oh, now they're down there and we're up here, sir. Raj. Pilot to crew. Coming up on the target area on your toes. Sandy, get upstairs. Pilot to Bombardier. Sam, I'll give you a reading just as soon as I spot that chemical plant. On Sam, make this good, will you? Bomber near to pilot. Roger. This one's for you, Skipper. Right, Sam. Me and a whole lot of other people. Pilot's bombardier. It's all yours. 